Hello, everybody. This is Patrick and Bryce with Stone Security. Uh, today's webisode is going to be quick. It is on S2 and how to apply your new license files uh, and your new licenses within S2. I'm going to let Bryce Fuller, our support engineer, take over. Thank you, Pat. So once you obtain your new license file from our team, once it's been ordered, whether it's a renewal on your uh, support plan with S2 or adding additional portals or additional features, what you'll end up doing is you'll come in here to configuration and you'll come in to, oh, I clicked on the wrong one, uh, site settings. So you'll come into configuration, site settings, and click on the software license. What you'll end up doing is you'll take the email that uh, our team here in our ordering department, they'll send you the new activation key and product key, and you'll just copy and paste those into these two boxes, leaving the license identifier the same, because that's what actually attaches to that. That will always stay the same on the controller for you. So once you've copied and pasted both of those in there, you'll check the box and you'll hit apply. Um, it, it sometimes, depending on the size of your system, sometimes it'll take about 30 seconds to a minute. Sometimes it actually takes a few minutes for it to apply the license and refresh everything. It will, most of the time, it will just then log you out once you've applied the license and you can then go into the about page and make sure that the activation key and the product key match what was given to you. And once that's the case, then it will have applied whatever the new features that you have purchased, it'll show that you've added those into there. Simple enough. Thank you, Bryce. If anybody has any questions on how to apply your licenses, email our support team uh, anytime, support at stonesecurity.net. Thank you, everybody.